Hey everybody, it's Kendra. So welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. So as you all know, I just moved. Just moved to California. It's been exactly one month and one day to the date um, that we've been here. So anyway, my video today, I wanted to give you guys a little tour of my vanity and all my little makeup and beauty goodies. Um, I have a desk, I have a couple shelves, I have all my stuff organized. So I thought this would be a fun video to show you just kind of, you know, what I did for my setup, my little makeup collection. I'm not gonna go super, super in depth with my products just because I wanna keep this video under like 15 minutes, preferably like 10. So I don't wanna make like, you know, two videos that are each one hour long. I don't wanna get super, super in depth in it. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my little makeup collection. This is in no way like brag video. Look at all my goodies. Um, I am starting to do makeup more professionally, so I need more products, need things for different skin tones. Um, I really like makeup, so I do have a bit of it. Um, but yeah, anyway, hope you guys like this. Um, yeah, let's get started. Let's go on the tour. Okay, here we go. So this is my little makeup setup. So you can see in the middle I have a desk that has a couple drawers um, and I'll show you what's in those in a second. And then I also have two little carts um, and those both have those both have like little inserts in it for all sorts of beauty goodies. And then I also have two soft boxes. So I use these for filming and also for putting on makeup. Um, we don't have very good lighting here in the morning, so it is nice to have, you know, artificial light to do my makeup. You know, it's not ideal. I would prefer to have real natural light, but whatever. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so on this side, in this little cart, the top is foundation, the middle is lips, and then the bottom is like eyelashes and kind of random other goodies. Okay, so in the top, we've got foundations and primers and setting sprays and correctors and basically like all the fun like base stuff. So all of these foundations here are by Bourjois. So this is their 10 hour sleep effect, which they no longer make, which is really good. And then this is their one, two, three, perfect. Eh, not so excited about that one. Uh, their Happy Light, that one's really nice. Their Healthy Mix Serum, amazing. And then also their 123 Perfect CC Cream. So I like this CC Cream, not a big fan of the normal 123 Perfect foundation. Okay, then also here we have a bunch of different shades of the Ilamasca Skin Base. Very lovely stuff. And then we also have some Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. A whole bunch of different shades there. And then also here we have like some Vichy Derma Blend. Uh, this is a BB cream corrector. There's a concealer there. This is sort of like stick and cream foundation. And then moving along, this is my little primer section. So we have the Guerlain Meteorites. We have some Pixie, a couple Laura Mercier primers, Ombre Elise, uh, the Professional, a tiny little sample size. I actually just picked this up. Along These Laura Mercier ones are sample guys too. Not samples, but like mini sizes. I've never used them before, so I was really excited to see little guys. Oh, Fix Plus, some Smashbox primers, some correctors. These are all by Makeup Forever. Then back here we have some Scandinavia priming spray and setting spray. And this is another setting spray. This is their bridal one. And then we have some other goodies back here. So powders. This is all makeup forever. Well, except for the NARS on top. These are sort of their lighter powders. And then this one is sort of their darker powders. And then here, ah, stuck. This is a little Laura Mercier translucent powder. And then this guy is Eshiko. That's their translucent powder as well. And then these foundations are just extras. Okay, next shelf, the lip shelf. So here we have a couple palettes by Japanesque. So I'll take these down and show you. So this one happens to be the reds, purples, and berries. So it's a little bit messy. Oops, I need to clean. So this side has the purples. And then if you open it up, we've got the reds over here. So everything is labeled. Yay, so pretty. And then the other one I have is like nudes and pinks um, and oranges. Okay, other lip stuff. This is the Bite Beauty Deconstructed Rose um, lip gloss collection. Back here I have like long wear lipsticks. Most of these are like the Makeup Forever Aqua Rouges. Here we've got all kinds of lip pencils. These are some butter glosses. 
here we have Homeo Plus, me and some Kiehl's. Um, these are the Cora's lip balms. I'm not a big fan. I don't know. I just didn't really get into it. I didn't really see all the hype. Yeah, sorry. Um, this is all gloss. We have all sorts of different glosses. Some Kiko, some Stila. Then I also have like the chubby sticks, like these bourgeois chubby sticks as well. I have a few of those in there. Here we've got some lipsticks. These are all bourgeois shine edition. These are all of the bourgeois rouge edition velvets. And then some OCC lip tars. And then back here, more lipsticks. We got some NARS, we've got some Bite, Charlotte Tilbury, Lipstick Queen. I think there's a couple buxom glosses in there. And then the bottom shelf. This is like the random, fun, crazy shelf. So here we got a bunch of eyelashes. These eyelashes are all like normal, wearable, everyday kind of lashes. Um, this box here is like special effects. So this is like latex and wax and blood and all that fun, gory stuff that I love. And then back here, this is all glitter. This is all glitter and aquarelles. That's more like special effects, like funky stuff. And then back here, you can't really see it. There is a bag with lashes. These are like the crazy lashes. Like the really funky lashes with glitter and all that jazz. Um, otherwise, I've got a big bottle of isopropyl alcohol. Use that for spot cleaning brushes. Then I've got these Beauty So Clean wipes here. A couple spray bottles that I put the alcohol in to clean my brushes. Um, here, a few beauty blenders. And then some sponges and some like little powder puffs that I put in this cute little pouch I made myself. Ooh, so crafty. Okay, and then moving on to the shelf on the other side. So this is like we've got skin on top and then hair and then nails. Oh, let's start on the bottom. Let's change it up. So the bottom shelf is nails. So yeah, all nail stuff. We've got all the polishes here. Basically, it goes red polishes, pink, purple, blues, greens, and then it gets more like browns and nudes and things, golds, glitter. And then this is all um, top coats, base coats, and also kind of like nail strengtheners, like various nail products. Um, not colored, just stuff like treatments for your nails. And then this one is like files and cuticle sticks and buffers and like a little foot scrubby guy. Some nail polish remover back there and then some um, cotton circles for like removing polish. Okay, the next shelf is all hair stuff. So it's kind of random. So we got my beautiful flower headbands I made and had in a video a few months ago. And then we've just got random products. This is like a color protector. This is a pomade. Um, this red can smooth down. That's a really good heat protectant. Oh, some hairspray. A couple Moroccan oil products are back here. A couple dry shampoo backups. And then here, it's like, you know, some donuts, a, a, what are you called? A tangle teaser, that's it. And then like ribbons and little like accessories for your hair. Back here, it's just kind of like bobby pins and oh, little elastic things. Clippy is back here. These guys are for like um, holding your hair back. It's kind of like Velcro, but it's really nice to like keep your hair out of your face when you're putting on your makeup. And then just some more clips. And then some brushes, combs, and things. Okay, moving up to the top shelf. I do also have a few hair things. So these are just the open bobby pins. I don't know what the technical name is. They're like the little ones that are open. And then we've got some clear elastics. And then some more bobby pins. These are like the little magnetized cases from Ikea. Okay, and then my top shelf is all skin stuff. Well, and a couple hair things that are too big for the middle shelf. So... Over here, we got the Bioderma, we've got some Alpha H. This is our instant facial. I haven't figured out how I feel about that one yet. Oh, we've got my liquid gold here, some Pixie Glow Tonic. Not a huge fan of this. I have two bottles. I should only have bought one, but eh, I don't know. Um, then here, makeup remover wipes. And then otherwise, this section is all day stuff, like day makeup. So this is Alpha H SPF 50. This is like the vitamin C, what are you called? The Truth Serum, um, Ole Enriksen. This moisturizer is fab. This is like the Omora Vixa Illuminating Moisturizer. Oh my gosh, I love that stuff. I'm going to cry when it's empty. Um, this is Aven, this is their SPF cream. This is another Alpha H um, day stuff. This back here is all night stuff. So we've got some more Alpha H, some Caudalie, more Alpha H, Alpha H. Kiehl's, this is our Midnight Recovery Oil, lovely stuff. And then I've got some Sarah Chapman products, this one and that one. Yeah, that, so those are all my night goodies. So we've got day and night. 
And then here, this little section is all for eyes. This is like eye stuff and also lips and then like pimple cream because you know, we all get pimples. I'm, an, I'm a human. Um, this is just backups. These are just extra goodies. Okay, then back here, I got a few more hair things. These are like volumizers, hairspray, dry shampoo, almost empty. I need to finish that. And then these are just like goofy things I bought at Daiso, like weird skin things I need to play with. And then this just has like little extra things, a couple tape measures, um, and like a, a mixing palette sort of thing. Okay, then let's move on to the desk. So under my desk, I do have a power strip. And then this little basket is where I keep all of my like heat tools. So I've got a hair dryer, a couple curling irons, a couple flat irons, and my Velcro rollers. Um, and basically like this, I usually just turn this off. Actually, I always turn it off when I leave. I'm like super paranoid about that staying on if I'm not here. Um, I always make sure I, you know, cool down my appliances before I put them in the box because it's plastic and I don't want a melted box. Also, you can see on the floor, I have this like plastic protector thing. I got that for the floor because I tend to be messy and spill powder so I didn't really want like black eyeshadow or some dark crazy powder on the carpet because this is a brand new apartment and I would like to get my security deposit back. Okay, moving on to the desk. You'll also see on the desk, I do have a desk protector. So it doesn't cover the entire desk. It's just the middle part, but that's really nice because the finish on this desk is quite shiny. And if I use alcohol to clean my brushes or like, you know, some, there's some alcohol from a product. If it gets on this, it will destroy the finish. So I really like to have this just to like protect the dust. Then on this side of the desk, so I have this jar back here and this is just all samples. I think it's kind of fun to like display the samples. I know some people hate samples and throw them away, but I love them. So it's like makeup samples and skin samples. Um, and I have to contribute this to makeup by Tiffany D. I believe it was her, could have been Jaclyn Hill. I always get those two mixed up. But anyway, one of them, I think it was Tiffany D. She was like renovating her house and in her bathroom, she had like this beautiful glass jar um, and she had all these samples in it and I thought it was really cute. So I decided to put it in my little makeup room. Okay, then just have a candle. This is by an Australian brand, Gasquan and King. I don't know how to say it. Really good, really good candle brand. Um, this little jar is empty right now, but this is where I keep fake eyelashes because you know, you can reuse fake eyelashes. Um, so yeah, I dump them in there. Okay, so then this little cup is like caviar sticks, um, cream shadows, mascaras, and a comb because it fits. And then this glass is just eyeliners. All different eyeliners. I usually keep all my liquid liners in here and then like the wax liners in there. Back here, tissue box and some hand sanitizer. And then I have this lighted mirror. So this is light, this lights up with like a sensor. So it can be actually be kind of annoying. It's really nice and it, it had a five year warranty, which is kind of why I liked it. I did a lot of research and it was really difficult to find a good mirror. So I'm really happy with it, but if you're like far away, it will eventually just turn off. So it's kind of annoying. Like I don't always like to be right up there like next to my mirror when I do my makeup. Okay, then on this side, I've got a little glass of cotton circles for taking off my makeup. And then back here, I have two glasses with face brushes and these are clean. This glass has eye brushes, lip brushes, smaller face brushes. And then this mug, this is my dirty brush cup. So I don't like to mix up my dirty brushes and my clean ones. So once they get used, they go in there. So I got a tweezers, eyelash curler, all that. And then this is my little, um, this is my little concealer cup. So we got some NARS creamy concealers, some Makeup Forever ones, a couple bourgeois. And then I also just keep my NARS powder out. This is almost empty. I'm like dying for the Sephora VIB sale so I can like get a couple more of those. Yay! Okay, and then let's go in the desk. Do, do, do. So on the left side is my eyeshadow side. Yep, you were wondering where the eyeshadow was, I know. So here we have some palettes. These are like the palettes I had when I was in makeup school. So they don't get much love, but they're okay. And then I have both of the Lorac Pro palettes there. These are some little shimmer cubes by The Body Shop. Those are actually quite nice, I like those. Um, backup mascara. This is a quad from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a Rock Chick. This is an Illamasqua quad. This is a Lorac palette, which I hate. I am so not a fan of this palette. This is like um, mixing solution to turn powders into liquids. I've got a couple Urban Decay palettes down there. The Urban Decay ones are pretty good. 
And then this is a Michelle Phan palette. And then I've got a couple Wet n Wild ones. Do, do, do. What else? Uh, this is all primer down here, primer and lash glue. So I've got an Urban Decay one. I've got a Too Faced. A couple Lorac ones. I haven't decided how I feel about the Lorac ones. A couple Duo lash glues. Oh, some breath strips. So if I'm doing somebody's makeup in here, I don't stink. And then, and then we just have some singles. These Mac products, these three Mac eyeshadows. Those are the only MAC products I own. Well, and I have one bottle of Fix Plus, so that's it in my MAC world. Uh. Okay, otherwise I have some, these are all NARS eye paints, and then a Makeup Forever gel liner. This is an Illamasqua gel liner. Um, doo -doo -doo, some Kiko liners. This is a Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia. And then we have some NARS shadows. Here we've just got some random like pigments. Um, yeah, powder pigments. Here we've got some Illamasqua cream pigments and then powder pigments and then some eyebrow cakes and a liner. And then back here, this is a little wet and wild brow thing. We've got some maquillage shadows. And then what's back there? There's some Kiko pigments and then some Milani single shadows. And then moving on, we have the blush and bronzer and highlighter drawer. So I've got all these lovely Illamasqua ones. Let me move that so you can see it. So I've got all the Illamasqua ones. I do have them all labeled. So it's very cute. And then what else do we have back there? So we've got some Milani, Deborah Milano, uh, Bourgeois, another pencil sharpener here. Um, a NARS duo, that's the Orgasm and Laguna one. I don't really like the Laguna bronzer. Powder Puff by Laura Mercier, Charlotte Tilbury blush, some more NARS. Oh, Laura Mercier highlighter, an hourglass highlighter. The hourglass trio, ooh, hi. That is the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette. These are a couple more sculpting palettes. I have a lot of sculpting palettes, good lord, Kendra. Um, and then I also have this Wet n Wild bronzer. I'm pretty sad, it's called Ticket to Brazil. I searched and searched for that Reserve Your Cabana because everybody raved about it, but I kind of think it was limited edition because I couldn't find it. Otherwise, we got some more bronzers here. These are like Benefit cheek stains. We got a couple highlighters. Um, yeah, some cheek, cheek and lip stains. Kabuki brush, we got the Rocketeur back there. Um, a Dior blush. I think that's like super old and I should really dump it, but I bought it in Sweden and it sort of has sentimental value. Anyway, so yeah, that is my blush and highlight and bronzer drawer. Okay, and then other stuff, I just have this lovely mirror. Woo! Little outfit of the day here, yeah. Just some cut off jeans turned into shorts and this cool funky shirt I bought this in Korea. Love it. And then we also just have a trash can under the desk. So yeah, there you have it. That is my little makeup tour, my vanity tour collection, whatever. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this. Hope I didn't bore you. I tried to be quick about things. I didn't want to go through every product like super in depth. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing really, really well. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any unique organizational strategies for your makeup collection, your beauty goodies. Um, I'm sure this is going to be a bit of a project, like an evolving project. I'm sure we'll be adding and changing things and moving things around. But for now, I'm super happy with the way it's set up. I love having my little designated beauty space. And I think my husband likes it too, because I don't have all my stuff just like everywhere in the bathroom. The shower is kind of full, but the countertop in the bathroom is quite clean actually. Yeah, so he should be pleased. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. So these are my kittens. So the little white one is called Kimchi, and she's three and a half months. And then little Kobe over there is four and a half months. They're both little girls. They were both spayed when we got them, and they're super, super sweet. So we adopted them from the San Francisco SPCA about almost three weeks ago and we are so in love. They're so sweet. Oh, they're so cute. And Kimchi is super playful and curious and crazy. And Kobe is still a little shy, but she's getting more used to us. And these two play together. Oh, they're just divine. They're just irresistible kittens, aren't you guys? What just irresistible kitties. Oh, yeah. What a monkey. What a little monkey. Hi, Kimchi. See, and there's Kobe. She's hiding. She hides all the time. Hi. Oh, what a pretty girl.